Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Kingdom Transformation Network's Morning Prayer. I am your host, Coach Shaiteria Jones, your spiritual midwife, helping you to see you as Jesus Christ sees you. Here at Kingdom Transformation, we are the bridge that connects identity, purpose, and destiny. Because when you know who you are, you can passionately pursue purpose. And when you passionately pursue purpose, you can occupy the place called destiny. Here at Kingdom Transformation, self-care is soul care. And so I challenge you each and every day to evaluate the very state of your soul. Because through this evaluation process, you will see what needs to be uprooted and you will see what needs to be planted. But we never do anything without the Holy Ghost <laughs> because it is the Holy Ghost who's going to guide us. He's going to lead us, who's going to strengthen us, who's going to correct us along the way. And so I am uh, beyond excited to be in this space and place with you. Facebook, go ahead and share, share, share. Clubhouse, ping, ping. Ping, 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 ping. We are on our final day of our 40 days of clearing the rubble. I am beyond blessed uh, to have been in this uh, prayer series as it has blessed me. It has helped me to uh, clear some rubble in my own soul. You know, we, we have rubble in that place that we don't even know is there until we start moving stuff. It's like in your home. You're like, wait a minute, I didn't even know that was over there. I've been looking for this for a long time. And then you discover it in a place you never intended for it to be. A lot of us are missing out on success because it's been um, under some rubble in our soul. It's been under the negative words that have been spoken over us. It's been under negative mindsets. It's been under... Uh, brokenness. It's been under heartache and pain and trauma. And as we have cleared the rubble, we have been setting ourselves up to see ourselves as royalty. And so beginning Monday the 10th, we are going to embark on 30 days of discovering our royal selves. And so for those of you who have ordered your 30-day um, royalty ebook, you're going to receive that before Monday. Uh, so today is Friday. So uh, between today, tomorrow, and Sunday, you will have your ebook. What you're going to do, you're going to receive a link um, and it's going to give you a coupon code to go in as if you're going to purchase the book again. Um, you're going to put it into your cart and then you are going to enter in the coupon code. The coupon code will take the price off for you and then you will have access to your book to download it so you can um, pray through that thing with us um, beginning Monday. And so I'm so excited about uh, royalty. And so let's get in uh, to this place for Monday prayer. We are going to, or excuse me, morning prayer because it's not Monday. <laughs> um, we are going to be pressing in um, and uh, we're going to read Matthew's uh, depiction of the parable. Matthew chapter 13 verses 3 through 8 and then verses 19 through 23. And the word of God reads, and he spake many things unto them in parables saying, behold, a sower went forth to sow. And when he sowed, some seeds fell by the wayside and the fowls came and devoured them up. Some fell upon stony places where they had not much earth and forthwith they sprung up because they had no deepness of earth. And when the sun was up, they were scorched and because they had no root, they withered away. And some fell among thorns and the thorns sprung up and choked them. But other fell into good ground and brought forth fruit, some in hundredfold, some sixtyfold, some thirtyfold. When anyone heareth the word of the kingdom and understandeth it not, then cometh the wicked one and catcheth away that which was sown in his heart. This is he that receives seed by the wayside. But he that received the seed into stony places, the same is he that heareth the word and anon with joy received it. Yet hath he no root in himself, but doeth for a while. 
For when tribulation and persecution arises because of the word, by and by he is offended. He also that received seed among the thorns is he that heareth the word, and the care of this world and the deceitfulness of riches choke the word, and he becometh unfruitful. But he that received seed into the good ground is he that heareth the word and understandeth it, which also beareth fruit and bringeth forth some an hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. Lord, we thank you for this opportunity to come before you on our final day of clearing the rubble. Lord, as we have pressed in and we have allowed your word to penetrate, permeate, and saturate every ounce of our hearts. Lord, we know that when we do the deep work in our souls, it's uncomfortable. Sometimes it can be uh, a feeling of unbearability, but that's only when we do it in our own strengths. We thank you for the Holy Ghost, oh God. We thank you for him leading us into all truth. We thank you that we are not alone, but that you sent us another comforter, a paraclete, one in the same, one who can minister to us in our moments of need. We thank you that you even dispatch angels to strengthen us, oh God. We thank you that our hearts even rest in your hand and because we have pressed, oh God, God, if you are taking delight in changing our hearts and turning them towards you. There have been many experiences that we have had in this life that have caused our hearts to be exalted against you, oh God that have caused our hearts to be wayward and worryful, oh Father God, that have caused our hearts uh, ooh, bless her, that have caused our hearts um to be in despair and in pain, oh God. But we thank you for your strength. We thank you for your courage. We thank you in these very moments, oh Father God, where we thought it was going to be difficult to make it to day 40, oh God, you made it possible. We thank you for even changing our perspective and for changing our name. Many of us had over us uh, the name incomplete. We had been called incomplete. We had been called those who would not finish a thing, but we thank you, oh God, that we completed this 40 days of clearing the rubble, oh God. We thank you, oh God, that we have become new in you, that the that the name, that label, that, that thing that used to hang over us can be removed and it can be destroyed. Many of us are holding on to labels and lies that were spoken over us that has disrupted destiny. But we thank you, oh God, that we become the disruptors of darkness, oh God, that we become the ones with the sword and the spear, that we become the ones who even now torment those who used to torment us spiritually, oh God. We are talking about the wicked enemies of our soul that have come to harass us. The enemy said, Jesus of Nazareth, have you come to torment me before my time? We thank you, oh God, that because of the fire that burns on the inside of us, because of the rivers of living water that flow out of our bellies, oh God, we have been authorized in the spirit realm to torment every wicked enemy that we have authority over. There are many of us who you have called to the nations, oh God. There are many who you have called uh, uh, to the political arena, oh Father God. There are many who you are ushering into destiny, but there has been a fight for their faith oh god but we thank you in the name of jesus that our faith shall not fail we thank you even now that as we have spent 40 days clearing the rubble we will continue to do the work oh god we will continue to allow you to go deep 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 down on the inside of us uprooting the very thing that thought that it was going to choke us out every thorn that thought that it was going to exalt itself against the knowledge of jesus christ we bind you by the fire of the holy ghost we send hell and 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 windstorms against you by the authority that God has placed on the inside of us. No longer will we be partakers of darkness, but we rise up as the salt and light in the earth. We rise up as those who bear the name of Jesus Christ in the earth realm. We rise up as those who are faithful. We rise up as those who are fierce in Jesus Christ. We rise up as those who are partakers of the divine nature of Jesus Christ, standing forth as the legacy of God in the earth realm. We are the righteousness of God through Christ Jesus. We are the head and not the tail. We are above only, oh God, and never beneath. And so we declare and decree this day that every single weapon that was formed against us fire upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare and decree that no longer 
Will we yield to the way of the wicked and wayward, but we yield to the way of the Holy One. We say, Holy One, have your way in our hearts, O God, for as you have changed us in these 40 days, O God, we want to see the fruit that you take delight in, O Father God. Every ounce of, of wicked fruit, O Father God, that has penetrated our hearts, O Father God, that has sprung up and that thought it was going to produce a harvest. We curse you at your root. We command you just as the fig tree shriveled up and died. We command you to shrivel up and die in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, oh God, that we are a people who are founded on the truth of your word. We are a people who are founded on your love, oh God. Your word says that by this they shall know that you are my disciples. The way that you have love one for another. And so we ask that you penetrate, permeate, and saturate us in your love oh God that we would even now be dispensaries of your love oh God we will be dispensaries of your glory we will be dispensaries of your truth oh God we will be dispensaries oh father God of your goodness we will be dispensaries of your grace oh God we will be dispensaries of your mercy we will be dispensaries of all that you are oh father God and all that you have called us forth to be your word says that freely we have received so freely we give I I even now thank you, oh God, for purpose, the purpose that you have placed on the inside of us, that we wouldn't keep that purpose to ourselves, oh God, that we wouldn't be locked up and locked down, oh Father God, but we would be a people who shout like a trumpet, oh God. We would be the sounding trumpets that you have called us forth to be, oh God. That we would be the people, the living epistles read of men who rightly divide the word of truth, oh God. Walking in stability in you. Lord, we thank you, oh God, that we are founded upon the rock of Jesus Christ. That though the winds rage and the storms come and try to beat upon our very homes, oh God. We can look at the very uh, manifestation of a storm and we can say, peace, be still in the mighty name of Jesus. We can say, hear the voice of the Lord because we stand in the stead of Jesus Christ. We thank you for revealing every ounce of commonality that we have with darkness, oh God, because darkness cannot drive out darkness. Help us, Holy Ghost, to see the dark places in our soul. Help us, Holy Ghost, to see the unrefined areas of our soul, not in condemnation, but in conviction to be who we were birthed in the earth realm to be, to be those who stand, oh God. God, to be those who stand, oh God, to be those who stand, oh God. And so we declare and decree that darkness will be displaced by the light and the glory of the only one true wise and living God. And so we partner with you on today, oh God, and we say displace every ounce of darkness in our soul, every ounce uh, uh, of difficult spaces where we have not allowed you in, oh God, to be the God who rules and reigns. And so we thank you, oh God. That we are not afraid in this season, but we forge forward. And anything that looks like fear, we cut off your head in this place. We declare and decree that the majesty, dominion, and might of the only one true wise and living God will be forever ruling and reigning in every ounce of who we are. We honor you, O oh God, and we thank you that you are mighty, mighty, and you are worthy to be praised. You are mighty, mighty, O oh God, and you are worthy to be praised. You are mighty mighty oh god and you are worthy to be praised lord we thank you for shifting our gaze <laughs> that we place our sights on things that are heavenly that we place our sights on things that are above that whatsoever is pure whatsoever is lovely and whatsoever is of good report that we think on these things Thank you, oh God, for teaching us how to think. Hallelujah. Many of us don't know how to think. And in and, 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 and thinking, we have been taught how to think in darkness and not in glory and in grace. We thank you, oh God, for recalibrating our thoughts. Thank you, Jesus, for changing my mind. Hallelujah. We need our minds changed, oh God. Thank you for changing my mind. <laughs> there have been many whose thoughts have been perverted and we just need a mind change from the only one true wise and living God because we don't know how to think in God. 
And so we thank you, oh God, for teaching us how to think. We thank you, oh God, for teaching us how to speak. We thank you, oh God, for teaching us how to walk. Just as in the natural, parents have to teach their blessings from above to do everything, right? And and so the same is true in the kingdom. We have to learn how to be in the kingdom. If you've ever watched those etiquette movies, like it's it's a whole different language. It's, it's so many more components than we thought were there, right? If you've ever had every ounce of silverware on the table, if you ever had every plate and every cup and you're like, okay, well, what cup is for this and what's bowl is for this and what plate, what's this, what's this? It's a whole new language. Lord, we are up for the challenge of this new language, the language of heaven, the language of holiness, the language of royalty, the language of righteousness, the language of consistency, the language of persistence in you. Lord, we are up for the challenge. Lord, we honor you as God who wants us to live in royalty in all that we do. And so we are just beyond grateful. We are beyond grateful for who you've called us to be, for how you've called us to stand, and for where you are directing us in this season. Lord, we take delight in you, and we give your name glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Listen, I pray that this prayer has blessed you. We have spent 40 days of clearing the rubble, and it has blessed my soul. It has really uh, changed some things um, in my life as God has been doing a work in me um, in these past uh, 40 days. And so I am beyond grateful. Listen, Facebook, I want you to send me your prayer requests, your praise reports. I want to rejoice with you. I want to shout with you. I want to uh, just, you know, do that with you. But if you have a prayer request, I want to pray with you as well. So send, 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 send me those uh, prayer requests. I would love um, to press in and pray with you. Um, just a reminder, we have a time change. So beginning on Monday, we are starting at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for morning prayer as we embark on 30 days of clearing the rubble. I made that up. 30 days of <laughs> discovering our royal selves. We have cleared the rubble. Now we're going to explore royalty, right? And so if you have ordered your royalty um, ebook, you are going to get that either today, tomorrow, or Sunday. So be on the lookout for that. Um, and I am just excited, excited. Uh, so I will see you Monday at 8 a.m. See you soon.